All right, hey guys, what is going on? It is Jay over here at Frogbones Family Shooting Center. And today we've got a little video coming to you that is gonna showcase the disassembly, cleaning, and reassembly of the Sig Sauer P365 series of firearms. So let's jump right into it. Just like anything else, we're gonna go ahead and make sure the firearm is clear, remove the magazine, lock that slide to the rear. We're gonna visually and physically inspect. There's nothing in there, right? We got a safe gun. Okay, you got your takedown lever here. We're gonna push it down with the frame in one hand, the slide in the other. You're gonna go ahead and push it to the rear. You'll notice that slide lock drops down. Keep hold tight of everything. It's all gonna come apart. Set that frame to the side. We're gonna go ahead and pull your recoil spring out, pull your barrel out, pull your slide and out. Today we're gonna use this breakthrough solvent. I've been using it for years. We use it here at the store. Stuff runs great, never causes any issues. We're gonna go ahead, give everything a spritz. Go ahead and Drop some down in the barrel, All right? And the dirtier your firearm is, the longer you want that solvent to sit, right? You want it to soak into that carbon, eat it up a little bit, uh, and break it down. You got this nylon board brush here that we're gonna go ahead and push through. Recoil spring, I just like to take in the, you know, a rag, kind of rub it around in my hands, we're good to go. And we're gonna pull out these little Q-tip things. These things are my favorite. Don't use them on yourself, they hurt. I don't know how I know that. These are for the really hard to get places, right? In these rails, down in here. Once you do that, <clears throat> you go ahead and pick that rag back up. I like to wipe everything down. And we're gonna take our lubricant, right? And you're gonna go ahead might be kind of hard to see up here in those rails. I like to do a drop. It's up to you how much you want to use, right? Lot, little, entirely up to you. Decide what you like and go from there. On top of the barrel here, I like to do a drop towards the muzzle and then right up on here where the hood, where it locks up into the slide. Go ahead and drop that in. Your recoil spring. Doesn't need a whole lot, just a quick little spritz there. Go ahead and reinstall that. And then on your frame, I'm gonna do a drop here at the front of both rails, as well as the rear. Okay? Now, one quick thing, when you go to put it back together, right? These rails should line up nice and smooth. You shouldn't have to force anything. And when you slide it all the way to the rear, you'll notice if you try to push this takedown lever, it does not want to go, right? It just kind of jams. Do not force it, right? There's one more step you got to do before you turn that, and that's push your slide lock into place. You'll notice if you were messing with it, it's going to snap it right up and you're good to go. If you try to force that takedown lever over, you're going to break it, and then you got to wait to get parts from SIG, um, which they're pretty fast at, but then you're down a firearm, right? We don't want that. So just make sure you engage that slide lock. You'll be good to go. It'll go into place, no issues. So we're gonna ensure that the firearm's still empty. Drop that slide, point it in a safe direction. We're gonna go ahead and pull that trigger. Keep it depressed to the rear. Rack the slide and then let the trigger go. You hear that nice audible reset. This firearm is good to go. Take our rag one more time. Wipe it down, get all that excess oil off, right? Get it ready to go back into the safe. Uh, into the holster, into the purse, wherever it's going, right? Make sure it is good to go. And there you have it, guys. It's not uh, not too crazy, right? But if you have any questions, please do not hesitate. Shoot us a DM. Come on into the store. Refer back to the owner's manual uh, or reach out to the manufacturer, right? They're, uh, they're the guys who designs these things. They are uh, just have a ton of knowledge. And uh, if you need cleaning supplies, right, if you need solvents, lubricants, these fancy Q-tips, uh, cleaning kits, brushes, anything, come on into the store. We'll get you taken care of. And always, guys, remember, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you next time.